Hey guys, little update on the 915 Dodge 360 J heads. You can see I worked quite a bit to, of of work on this uh, on this roof. I was able to take that entire bump off. Humbert bump. Humbert. Try. I tried to look it up. I couldn't find it anywhere. But what it was, I think, designed for was to throw the throw the fuel up. Let's see it. You can see it a little bit in this one. Throw the fuel up towards the chamber, I think. Well, we can compare how our Dicom looks now versus before with the bump. I really don't think it's that much different, to be honest. And that uh, that guide, that long guide, I took a lot of metal off that guide, and it's still massive. It's kind of in a funny spot because, you know, it's so far in that it's hard to really lean on the burr and keep it in a, a spot. So it's, it takes a long time to take any metal off of that. So what I did was I took a look at our original airspeeds and I made some adjustments. So what did we wind up with? Not that big a difference on the second cut. Okay. Plus, 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 minus, 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 plus, 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 plus. And the pluses are not that big. Okay, if you look at 200, it goes 118.7 to 119.4. 300 actually goes down a little bit, 350 goes down a little bit, 400 down a little bit. 500 went up from 243.1 to 247. Didn't, uh, didn't make a huge difference. Yeah, I was trying to get some serious flow numbers out of it, but I did not, I did not lay the short side back. And I didn't want to because, you know, I like I like the meat in the curve area here. But what I did do on the short side, let me, uh, you can see it in this picture here. This huge bulge, I took some metal out of that because of my air speeds. And the air speeds on the short side now are, I'm arguably, argu arguably better. Okay, that's what we had. They went down, they went down, they went up in the middle. Okay, I think I know what to do with that. Take a quick look at our swirl. Minus, plus, plus, equals, plus, 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 minus, plus, minus. And for some reason I didn't have, I didn't have a 700 lift on that one. I'm not sure what I goofed up. But in any case, we haven't back cut the valve yet. And the, ba and the valve has a, a very deep evaporation ridge on it. Okay. Let's take a look at the chamber. Okay, we can compare this Dicom shot to the last time we've seen it. It is a little bit different. It starts a little bit deeper in the bowl, but not much. Not nearly as low as I would have expected it to. You can see we've got a little bit on the guide, a little bit of blue on the guide. Right. It looks like I've got that that little fin pointed in the, about the right direction according to the way the liquid's flowing. You can see we got a little bit of liquid that came out and just a touch splashed on the chamber. All right. Okay, you can see I did change the right side of that short side radius a little bit because of, of the, the speeds that I was getting. And I widened it a touch, but you're, if you look at the left, we're pretty much done already. It's, it's, we can bring it out a little bit more because I can see the casting uh, line, the paste ooze line. We can go a little bit further that way. And that was our center of cylinder. See, that's already our low. That's our low speed side. So, 
I don't know how much more I want to take out of that side. Okay, let's see what we can see at this angle. How do we do with the speeds on the roof? Let's take a look at that. Okay, speeds on the roof were 183, 231. Now they're 189, 209. They're much closer. Okay, so that should help. Uh, take a look at our short side radius speeds. 408, 406, 393. we got minus plus minus. I'd like to knock that middle one down a little bit. I have to work on that. Let's take a look. I did do a little bit of work on the exhaust. Let's take a look at uh, what we got on that. Okay, we did a little more work on the roof. We got plenty of metal on the roof. We got plenty of metal on the sides. But I don't want to just make it huge either. I'd like. I'd rather have a small efficient port. And this port is not small. It's relatively big. And it doesn't really flow that much better than the 318 ports. And this 360 port, the intake port, doesn't flow a whole lot better than the 302 ports. And when you look at it, it should. So, I'll admit, I, uh, I'm, not, I'm not a Chrysler expert, and this is the first pair of J-heads I've ever touched. Not sure what I'm missing. I mean, yeah, I'm, I think I'm going to... I'm going to give Rob a call and say, hey, okay, if I cut a back cut on this, I'm sure he's going to say yes. He's that kind of guy. He's like, yeah, let's figure out what's, what's what. And uh, we'll do that. Okay, you can see the exhaust. It looks, it looks better than it performs. I went by the air speeds and uh, tried to adjust it to improve the air speeds. Let's see how I did. Okay, all the way on the left, those minuses and pluses are from uh, completely stock. So these plus and minuses are in reference to these numbers. So how do we do? We got minus plus minus. Okay, we got a nice, nice boost in the middle of the port on the outside wall. Center. Went down a touch, picked up in the middle, quite a bit, lost a little bit on the floor. The floor is tough because it's got the wrong shape to the floor. I was actually, you know, three o'clock in the morning when I'm dreaming, this is what I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of why they shaped that exhaust floor the way they did. And there is a little bit of logic to bulging out the floor to slow the air, to make the turn, but I, I wouldn't say that's the way to make a high-speed exhaust port. Sorry, I just don't, I don't see it. Yes, I do that kind of stuff in my dreams. It's crazy. Okay, 307, 146, 66. Up, up, minus. That one corner is completely dead. Let's take a look at... Uh, these numbers from the outside of the port. Okay, these numbers transfer to this port. The numbers on the left are top, middle, bottom. Okay. That numbers in the middle are the middle. Middle numbers on the right are this side. This is the corner that's really bad. Can we take a look and find out why? Well, if you look at the short side radius, right, that's got the higher part of the short side radius so it's going to come like a ski jump and it's going to feed <laughs> it's going to push the air up towards the top which makes perfect sense right it's going to be tough to bring that down i mean i could lower that short side radius there but probably lower the efficiency of the entire exhaust port uh, let's take a look at the pluses and minuses versus the first cut on the exhaust port. Minus, minus, 
Three, we had noise. We had noise last time, too. Same spot. Minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, plus, plus. We got a big plus when we add the pipe, which is important. It went from 168 to 179. That's a huge step up. But what's interesting is it's not that big a difference here. But yet, it works a lot more efficient when you put a pipe on it. So overall, I'm going to say our speeds are a hair better. You let me know whether I, you think uh, I goofed that up or not. Uh, as far as the exhaust goes, I think those are a touch better than the 318 exhausts, but they're way bigger. Right? Right? And the, the intake port is hanging right with the 302 heads, but it's a way bigger port. But it doesn't have a back cut on the valve yet. I think a back cut will change, will change these numbers quite a bit. May not, may not gain anything up here. Okay. I'll see if I can do that for you guys tomorrow. Other than that, I can't think of anything else. I got another cool project coming in. Uh, World Sport, Sportsman Juniors for a small block Ford. For a very interesting 65 Mustang project. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll go through that entire thing step by step. It's a really, really interesting project. You guys will like it. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out. Have a good night.